Namaskar guys from Kolkata, India. I am so lucky that I arrived on the date that I did because I have one more day until this book fair is not taking place anymore. Anyways, I'm over here now. It's the world's largest book fair. That is something. When something is the biggest of something, you must go visit it. We're gonna go explore this place. Let's see what we see right away, guys. It looks like books. Yeah. What a surprise in a book fair. We have books. <laughs> it seems like people have their shops in here, like different kinds of books. <laughs> Anyways, this place is big. There was a map outside and it looks really big. Check it out, guys. I don't really know where I'm gonna walk, so I'm just gonna go around the whole place. I'm pretty sure they have food around here. It looks like they have a little concert hall over here. So we're gonna check that out. There's help stations. Hello. Let's see what the world's biggest book fair is like. I've never even been to a book fair in my life. I was surprised on my recent visit to Kolkata when I went on College Street and they had all the books for sale there. That was impressive. And now this is going on and I'm here to catch it one day before it's over. What? The crowd, yeah, there's people all over the place here. I was reading a little bit about it and like some people come every single day of the book fair. It's just like uh, the people of Kolkata see it as like, they're, they're proud of it, you know? So they're over here. Check it out. They're, oh my God, are they having biryani? Yeah, of course, that's a must. <laughs> oh my God, a must. So that's a must. They have biryani here. Yeah, they have little, see this whole shop is... Wow, the cake shop. Let's go have a look. Let's let's swim through the people. Let's see what we find here. Someone wants to meet you. Huh? Hi, how are you? Check it. Oh my God, he's refilling the biryani. It smells delicious. Oh my God. I already ate, guys. I already ate, but oh man, this is way back old day. This is a very old day. Guys, this place, it, it smells so good right now, like, even if you don't like books, just come here for the food and to hang out. And, and people watch, there's people everywhere. We have a cake shop. We have a lot of things here, let, let, let's see what else we find, wow. You know, it's packed, but it's not packed that you can't really walk. Oh. Uh, I was born in Venezuela and raised in the US. And you? Kolkata? Yeah, Kolkata born in native. Kolkata but uh, live in the US. What part? San Diego. San Diego, sunny San Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, bro. Enjoy. Thank you, bro. You too. Sure, sure. Uh, 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 yeah. Alright, cool. We have milkshakes over here. I'm interested over there. It says Mexico. 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 I'm interested in that. What is this over here? What is going on? Let's check it out. Let's check out Bangladesh. This is it. The neighbors. Oh man, we have a line. Okay. All right. We need to wait for it. We'll do the line and then we'll check inside, guys. A little bit less crowded. Check it out. This is the Bangladesh area. I guess we have books from Bangladesh. And a lot of people. It appears that books are the big thing here in Kolkata. Here we have a USA section, but a little bit more interesting to me is we have a Spanish section. We also have friends there, so let's go in here as a Spanish speaker. Hello. What is about Argentina here? You have Spanish books? Um, only for display. Only for display? Yeah. Oh, okay, these are books from Argentina. Yeah. Can I see one? Oh, sure. I don't want to see it. I speak Spanish, so for me it's very interesting. If you want Spanish books. Oh, they're not in Spanish? No, this is in Spanish. Perfumeria. These are Spanish words. All right. So you guys are selling things from, not selling, just display? Displaying things from Argentina. Only for display. Only for display from Argentina. Si. Si, sí, you, you speak Spanish? A little bit. Un poquito. Un poquito. ¿Qué más sí. puedes decirme en español? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Cómo estás? Ah, muy bien. Muy bien. Gracias. Mi nombre es Carlos. ¿Y usted? Uh, Subrata. Subrata. Okay. Sí. Muy bien. Uh, sí, quiere uh, 
comprar un libro de español pues, eh, en, en el otro lado okay. ese de México el lado de México okay. mi abuelo sí, sí. de parte de mi papá es de Argentina oh. Yo nací en Venezuela y fui criado en Estados Unidos. Ok. Y ahora estoy viajando aquí en la India. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, es primera vez? No, no. Eh, cuarta vez en la India. Segunda vez en Kolkata. Oh, segunda vez. Ah. Muy bien. Muy bien. Está bien, pues. Muchas gracias. Sí, de nada. That was one of the most interesting things I've done all day. I think it's my first time speaking Spanish with somebody from India. It's my first time I speak like fluent Spanish with somebody. Actually, no, second time. I met somebody in Jaipur. But yeah. And all the books here. Look, we have Maria Teresa de Calcuta. Tenemos un instituto para enseñar español. Aquí en Calcuta. Sí, sí. Y tú estudiaste ahí o cómo aprendiste tu español? Ah, en mi instituto. Aprendiste español ahí. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Y con quién practicas? Ah, con, 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 con mi, está bien. Sí, sí, sí. Está bien. Está bien, pues mi hermano. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Al lado de México, al lado. We're in the Mexican section. Ahora le va todo. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, muy bien. ¿De dónde? De Venezuela. ¿De Venezuela? Nacido en Venezuela. Uh, mi profesor de español. ¿Tu profesor de español? Sí. ¿Vive en Calcuta o no? No, 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 estoy viajando aquí en Cal Colcata. Colcata, Calcuta. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Entonces eres profesor de español. Sí, profesor de español. Ah, está bien. Sí. ¿Y quién te enseñó a ti español? ¿Dónde aprendiste? Un hindú. ¿Un hindú? Sí. Hace mucho tiempo. Hace mucho tiempo. ¿Y has viajado en Latinoamérica? Sí. He viajado a México tres veces. Argentina dos veces, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Chile, Perú, eh, no Perú, no. Chile, Brasil, sí. ah, bien. a España mucho. A España mucho. 31 veces a España. Sí, tu acento es un poquito al español de España, sí. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Soy responsable del Instituto Cervantes Ajá. en Calcuta. Ah, está bien. Del examen de Dele. Está bien. Sí. Wow, es, es refrescante hablar español. Sí. Bueno, la primera vez que tengo una conversación con alguien de la India en español así. Sí, no, aquí ahí tenemos una familia sí. hispanohablantes. Ay. Es que mira, Colcata a mí me sorprende siempre más sí. la diversidad que hay acá. Las diferentes culturas, mira, eh, eh, sí. están los, los chinos que tienen Chinatown acá, están sí. los anglo indios sí. ahora hay hindús aquí, no sé si son hindús, pero hay gente de la India aquí hablando en español, es impresionante. Aquí también teníamos como embajador de Argentina, México estaba en la feria, también uh, estaba... Un grupo de escritoras de Argentina estaba, wow. de México, está bien. Por problema económico, Venezuela no pude asistir, pero hace dos o tres años. La corrupción del gobierno allá es increíble. Sí. Como destruir un país con petróleo sí, 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 y una gran miseria. Sí. Yo tengo muchos amigos venezolanos en, en, que viven en Venezuela. Sí, sí, sí. Y en España también hay muchos. Sí, hay muchos, sí, sí, muchos. En todas partes. Sí. ¿Así viajo como turista o qué? Como hago videos en YouTube. YouTube. Sí, soy un travel blogger. Y hago videos viajando por todo el mundo. Ya llevo dos años dando vueltas. All right, a lot of Spanish later, I realized that there's people working here that they all speak Spanish. A lot of people in Calcuta. She speaks Spanish. We already know he speaks Spanish. Usted, tú también habla español un poquito, más o menos, ¿no? Okay, pero ella sí habla en español. Hola. Y muy bien. Están estudiando español porque quieren este aprender las letras de las canciones y saber qué están diciendo.
Here we have our French section for the books. My French is not very good looking, but let's see what they have in here. Bonjour. Francais? Oui. Alright, I don't know anything else. What part of France are you from? I'm from Paris. Paris? Oh, nice. Almost. Almost? Yeah. Let's say that people who live in London say they are from Calcutta. Oh, okay, so you're like on the outskirts of Paris. Yeah. All right, got you. <laughs> Very nice. Now, say my wife, she's from Normandy. Okay. La Normandy. Yeah, that's a nice place. Really green. Je suis d'accord avec toi. Uh, Le Etretat? Etretat. You know Mont Saint Michel? Huh? Yeah. I haven't been to Etretat. Oh, yeah, you been. must go to Etretat, bro. You guys speak French too? So everybody here has to speak French. Very nice. All right, so this is a French school over here, guys. That's what they're representing, and they give French classes. So if you want to learn some French, check it out. Alliance Française du Bengal. They're teaching French. I guess here they're teaching Japanese. Uh, Welcome to Kolkata. Moshi moshi. Guys, Australia's in the house. Guatemala, Peru. This place is massive. I'm so happy I came. I honestly, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did so far. I thought it was just gonna be something completely different, but no, it, 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 it's an actual fair. You're happy after and speaking Spanish after a yeah, long time. Yeah, I'm very happy after speaking Spanish after a very long time. I was like, I almost forgot what it was like, you know? Hello. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Hey, what a lively place, huh? I make some videos. I make some videos, bro. Hey. Look, they have a concert going on here. Concert, guys. This is this is folk music. Folk music? Yeah. Local folk music. Yeah, yeah. Typical folk music. Typical folk music here in Kolkata. Check it out. Let's go into this area here. It just looks very unique. This is where I want to go. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's check out the Kolkata police over here. Look, interface on social media, anti-bank fraud, cyber PS. Look, they have an ATM. Let's go check out the ATM. It's probably for fraud related stuff. Wow. You know, back in the United States, fraud is insane. It's like there's so many fraud things going on, you can't even keep up with it. All these things over here. You put your cards in here and they're able to like get all the information. Check it out. Skin cards. The chips. Wow. I've even heard like there, there's machines that if you walk too close to them, the machine automatically like reads all your information. What is this stuff? Ref analyzer, light baton. You guys all cops? Equipment traffic department. Huh? Traffic department. Okay, so this is like if somebody's driving drunk. Alright. Alcohol test. Alcohol test. Alright. And what is Lux? The Lux meter, light meter. Light meter? Light meter, window skin, the film like black or other black. Okay. All right, many things. Thank you. Interesting. So many things. Whoa, what is this? Fine. This is what? that thing. The telephones get older and older here. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave the scene now. I don't know really what's going on. Let's just go. Check it out. We have found a Latin American food festival here. I love empanadas. These are like our versions. You can say they're like Latin American samosas. However, instead of just potato inside, you can put whatever you want. Usually it has chicken or even fish or different kinds of things. These are Argentinian delicacies if you ever go to Argentina they're gonna sell alfajores everywhere and churros wow this stuff is just amazing burritos we all know about Mexican food but yeah I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the churro I, I got a little sweet tooth right now we're gonna try borracho también it's muy rico el borracho es muy rico okay you know what it means the drunken cake <laughs> all right I'll, I'll try it too. I'll try that as well. Huh? What does it mean? Uh, the drunk cake. <laughs> We're gonna go check out another little Latin American food stall that they have. In the meantime, let's try the churro. I'll be completely honest, it doesn't look authentic. But it smells like a churro. It's the cinnamon sugar that they put on there. Mm. And they put chocolate in this one. How does it taste? Okay, okay. It tastes more like a, a cupcake or something like that. No, it doesn't, it doesn't churro, taste no. like a, a churro. The thing is, churros are, are supposed to be made on spot and you're supposed to eat them fresh. If not, they're, they're really not, not that good. Anyways, we're heading to the Latin American stall. Our Spanish speaking ladies of Kolkata are guiding when are us. Huh? Yeah. When you're gonna upload this vlog? Um, dentro de dos o tres días. No speak English. No speak English. Huh? We have already subscribed your channel. No speak English. Solo hablo español. Oh, vale. Practicar? Que sigan practicando, ¿ah? Sí, Hello. Sí, estamos, estamos practicando. Somos practicando. Check out this Spanish people learn Spanish. A young Carlitos. There's a book in Venezuela. Every Venezuelan mother uses it. It's called Mi Jardín. And that's how we all learn to, to speak Spanish, saying stuff like this. Mis peces nadan, tus peces nadan, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's pretty cool to see all this stuff, especially all the way here in Asia, you know. The Western world is very foreign. Like Latin America is extremely farther from everything because Latinos don't travel around that much. They, they like to stay in certain areas. Check out what I'm talking about. Look, let's take a look. Here's India, here's Southeast Asia. We live here. We live here. <laughs> We're here in Kolkata right now, like right next to Bangladesh okay. there. <laughs> and this is this, this is where Venezuela is, guys. Where? I'm from right here, look. Right here, okay. Caracas. Okay, it's a huge. huge. You live here. Or right there. The you can see my house if you zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, zoom in, like zoom in. Yeah, you can You'll see my here. home. Oh, here's a better yeah, example. Here's a better I'm like right here somewhere. Okay, Matt, you live a lot of And time. here's my flag. Okay, this is the Venezuelan flag. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be heading out now, guys. It's nighttime, man. The book fair is still going on. Oh, man, I smell the biryanis from here. Yeah. But it smells great. Anyways. Here's the kitchen. This is, oh, this is the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, man. This is where all the smells are coming from there. Anyway, that's going to be it here from the Kolkata Book Fair, the world's largest book fair. I cannot recommend this place enough. You can come here, people watch, 
you can look at books, you can look at different cultural things from all around the world, as you saw the Latin American culture part. They also have like a European, a Japanese section I saw there. They have many different things. They have food. I can't say it's delicious, but it smells really good. So I'm pretty sure it's very good. That biryani smelled on point. And apparently they have games and stuff. They have a lot of things. This place was awesome. It really surprised me, guys. Anyways, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Catch you on the next one.